Welcome to Crazy Nouns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. I start the timer. Boom. TNT. So I read a story. It's uh, from in Boston. Okay. So there is. Home of the cream pie. <laughs> no, that's where it came hey, from. You're, you're right. Uh, Look it up. Yeah, right. Exactly. Make sure your, your filters are on, kids. Yeah, do you uh, want? <laughs> anyways. That's a good one. I like so, that. I like that. Um, <laughs> Anyway, it's safe search. You broke me. <laughs> um, so there has been a recent rash of assaults in Boston, <laughs> and the police okay. are having trouble because there's nothing they can do about them. Okay, a rash of what exactly? Assaults, people being assaulted. Okay, okay. I was thinking like you know like somebody had like some redness to their you know maybe jock itch or some and, athletes play. <laughs> right, I'm, yeah, I, got, I, got a little crotch rot. You know how it goes. A, it's a bad joke. Um, I get it. No, it's it was a good one. I liked no, it. That's why. No. Anyway, no. so uh, so why would you assume that the police know people are being assaulted, but they cannot legally do anything? I would assume that it's uh, uh, some vagrant children that are doing the assaults. That's you my assumption. You are absolutely correct. Is it really in vagrant? Boston? If a children a child is under the age of twelve, you cannot be the arrested or prosecuted. Okay. And. <laughs> The leader of this ring is an 11-year-old girl, and they are going around and assaulting adults Yo. so so they cannot get arrested or charged, and they're beating the crap out of people. It what? says, the, it says the, the 11-year-old girl came up to the woman and said, why you be talking shit, and then punched the woman in the face, knocking her glasses off, and then stopped the glasses, and then kept punching her. Oh, but she's 11. Right. Just like... I don't know, end her life. I mean, she hasn't had Dude, much of one yeah. at this point. Just, like, okay. I mean, and, and, this I, is, and this is where I wanted to go. Yeah, go ahead. This yeah, is where yeah, I wanted to go yeah, with yeah. this. Never, never in life would an 11 year old ever. You know, it's it's funny that this is in Boston, too. I just want to put that out there. But there's never in life when an 11 year old is uh, going to, like, beat me in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> like, just keep it a book. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> keep like, it a book. Like, <clears throat> look, 11 year old is going to get one hit. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open my cell phone up, I'm going to put the video, I'm going to set my cell phone up so that the video is looking at me, and I'm going to say, please don't hit me again. <laughs> and that's, that's all I'm ever going to say. Please don't hit You've me again. You've already hit me once, please don't hit me again. Hits me again. It's open game. Yeah, that's it's what, open season. And, and we've talked about this, like as far as like with women too. Like I would never hit a woman. But I let would, a woman come at me and try to fight me. I will take my phone out, <laughs> turn the video app on. Turn no, no, no freaking TikTok view. We're going landscape. I want the fullest view I can get of the ass whooping that she is about to receive for trying to kill me. Right. It's like or hurt me. I would never like. I don't. I don't. I'm not a fighter in general. No. But like, let it, yeah, let a kid come up and try. Like you see those videos of kids like just walking up and punching people. Like, yo, Ooh. if you come up and just hit me, like Ooh. I don't want to hurt a child. But like, oh my. It, well, there's a difference. If the kid just comes up and hits you, and you can like wrangle them and hold them down and call the cops or whatever. Like I would prefer that route always. And Jonas ain't putting his phone in landscape. <laughs> what, 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 if the kid, what, if, what if the kid ends up whooping your ass and you're on YouTube? Then I'll, you know, it actually happened to, uh, what's his name? Johnny Depp? <laughs> Yo, did you see Amber Heard doing a bump of cocaine on the stand, dude? Oh, did, did you also so see funny. her posing for a picture with the tissue? Yeah! Where she's like, she's like wiping her her nose and then she like looks over at the camera and she's like, Freeze! And the, dude, she is a she is a sociopath, okay, yo. Uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of if if ands you're kind of in there we're not nothing for sure but it does look very incriminating she did Both, coke on the stand that one looks freaking wild man the pause for the camera is wild the too. fall the pause for the camera is wild <laughs> like she looked and then like just held the tissue and like but, i was like the her doing a bump is wild looking like i had to watch it fight anyway go to the bathroom on a break real quick and <laughs> no, bump. Like, you gotta was, like bump it. giving a testimony oh my lord i'm putting my phone in landscape jonas <laughs> I'm just okay. you but know like, right now that I've, I've determined is that that's the way i'm gonna handle most altercations from here on out in my life is that <laughs> if there is an opportunity for me to put my phone in landscape i'm gonna put my phone in landscape well because they'll either They'll either be like, I don't want to be recorded and straighten up. 
Or it'll, then you have carte blanche to do whatever you, you have video evidence. Yep, it'll defuse or it'll give me all the defense I need in court. Yeah, you know? I mean, you're right. Like, And I think that's why a lot of people, when they see things happen in the street, they start yeah. recording. Like, yeah. Or if I end up dead, which, you know, you never really know when your day is. Well, if I end up dead, then, hey, yo, look, we got take your evidence. Phone. They'll take your phone, though. <laughs> Hey, it still exists. Yeah, right. Exactly. Still exists. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. can get it. They can get it from a damaged sim if yeah, need be. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they can. It's crazy, Jones. So this is in uh, this is in uh, what did you say, Boston? Yeah, Boston. It's very weird. You wouldn't think that something like that would happen in Boston. You, have you ever been to Boston? I have. Crazy turn is Tom Brady's niece. No, I'm joking. <laughs> That's doing this. <laughs> no, uh, I, I've never been to Boston, but I've been to Foxborough because I went to a Patriots game in, okay, okay. in New England. But it's like Foxborough's like 30 minutes south of Boston, so I wasn't in the actual city. No, we, we do have a mutual friend that actually lived in Boston. Yeah, for he said bit. it was trash. Yeah, he did. Oh, I mean, I can imagine it's old as ish, dude. It's one of the first cities in the country. <laughs> It really is. It's old. It's very old. Dude, I went to London. That's all I kept thinking was like, this is old. This is old as hell. Like, this place just looks old. Sorry. Anyways. Do you know about, like, uh, why a lot of uh, sports players don't like to go to Boston? You ever heard that one? Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a funny joke. Go ahead. It's funny if you're me. It's probably a little mortifying if you're you. But uh, oh there's been a couple of f- 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 baseball players in particular that refuse to be traded to Boston uh-huh. because a lot of people in the Boston stands like to use the N word. Oh, it's racist there, like Philadelphia Boston, too. Yeah, Boston's a very Caucasian city. I don't like Caucasian cities. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, dude. You can't dude. say that. You know, I, I'm not gonna front. Like people, like a lot of people, like prefer to live in North Austin because yeah. the, it's the more, it's the supposedly it's a lot more uh, richy area. It tends yeah. to be a higher white population, and okay. down south tends to be more Hispanic. Uh, not as high income down this way. Like we live in the southern half. We live I, in the south. Yeah, <gasps> I, dude. I flipping love it, dude. I love going to the bank and being like the only white dude in there. Like, I, I, I think that's great. Like, I love the diversity of where we live, man. I didn't realize we lived in the poor. <laughs> we're the poor. We yeah. live in the, with the poor. Yeah, we're. we're you, ever, you go to that H E B I go to, man. <laughs> tell me. How, it's tell a me. very brown H E B. It is, and I it love is. it, dude. It's not. Hey, I'm not mad at it either. But I never even thought about it. Yeah. I just thought there was just a higher population, the higher Hispanic population lives in south austin the north and when you go up north like dude i went to the goodwill on the north side they have like motherfucking gas grills in the goodwill like people are just like they had everything golf clubs i'm like what the fuck is going on here like brand new things still in the wrapper that like people got and just i'm like rich people love to give away (laughs) dude i was like i'm going to the north side goodwill from now down here like a burger king cups nine (laughs) dollars <laughs> Does it come with like the character top to it with the yeah, straw holder? Like, it, like it's because that like, might it's be worth the, it. Uh, I am no joke, dude. I've that been really at the Goodwill it. down south, and there's like it's like one of those collectible cups from Burger King, and it's like looks like it's went through the dishwasher seventy times. Like the color is faded. Mm. Pick it up, literally like nine dollars, and I'm like, who the it's, hell it's is a buying collectible, a nine dollar Batman cup? It's a collectible. Yeah, dude. It's a. <laughs> It's uh, but anyways, yeah, dude, f white cities, man, <laughs> f, dude, f racism, man. Oh, get out of here with that shit. F white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been to Boston, so I don't know. I, this is this is just from the stories that I've heard yeah, and yeah, some of the accounts sure. that I've heard from. Uh, I I don't doubt that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very uh, Anglo-Saxon over there, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that even one of the terms about everybody hates Mondays is uh, from Boston. Oh God, <laughs> we talked about that in another podcast. I don't remember which one, but yeah, that, that's from there too. But yeah, dude, it's a uh, it's a uh, that's could, dude. Let a gang of kids come up and try to assault me. It's very Pinocchio, right? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Hold on, we don't have much time, so get into this. Kid. It's like you know, like the the Lost Boys, Pinocchio and the Lost Boys. It's like uh. Peter Panish type of idea. Yeah, I just yeah. picture like a bunch of kids at like a tree house and they're like got their plans up on the board. <laughs> We're like it's drawn and crayon. <laughs> We're gonna go get some boomers today, yo. <laughs> right? 
And then it's like, obviously, the answer is the mother's going to be brought up on charges. Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's I, what's going to happen because the or they're going to take the kid away from CPS. Uh, that, that probably should happen. Yeah, I I don't know if they can charge the mom, but I could see CPS uh, being bro. like, we need to take your kid. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah. you aren't keeping them in check. Yeah. Like we can't arrest her, but we can sure as hell take her away and put her in a home. The thing is, is that if if the, if the lady decides to sue, which she can, she can sue the city for not taking any action. Yeah, I guess that's true. And I don't know, but I don't know how that law affects that. You know what I mean? Like it might. I mean, not being able to prosecute the child is fine, but being responsible. Like if your child goes in and like breaks stuff at Walmart, they're not going to be like, "Well, I'm sorry, you're free to go." <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. I get it. I was a kid once. No, they're going to be like, look, lady, you got to pay for this. Your kid broke. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I don't know. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.